The father of modern India, Mahatma Gandhi, said, the world has enough for everyone's need, but not for everyone's greed. That statement seems to beg the question of how much does a man need in a 70-year lifespan? Now, a former accountant general of the Federation, Ahmed Idris, has been ordered, remanded at the Kujie Correctional Facility in Abuja over alleged 109.4 billion naira fraud. Justice Adeyemi Ajayi of the Federal High Court Abuja gave the order on Idris and three other defendants this Friday. Thank goodness, Kujie Correctional Center can admit new inmates. Uh, Jide. Yes, please. Um, uh... More than 400 escapees are still uh, on the run. Yeah. So there is enough uh, room room for the accountant general <laughs> and the uh, other accomplices in crime mm. uh, to be accommodated, uh, perhaps in a five-star facility within the, the prison. I mean, uh, uh, we hope the CCTV will be there now. Something good enough for his stature, for a man of his stature. Yeah. We need to make examples of people who betray our trust recklessly. In Israel, we've seen former prime minister put on trial. In other countries of the world, it's not a big deal to put a former president on trial. But in our country, even people not big enough to lace the boots of a former president, we consider them too big to be put on trial. That's why we are where we are. We are. Yeah. It is terrible to hear that someone that the president invested so much faith in, to the point that the president, mm. against the laws of our land, extended his stay as a counter general in mm. contravention of the extant civil service mm. rules. Mm. The president extended this man's stay. Now, what has the president gained from this? You've ended, uh, extended the stay of someone that you shouldn't have employed in the first place. Mm. Because I don't believe that people suddenly become greedy. I don't believe that people suddenly um, become thieves. There must be some elements of it in your character. Oh, yeah. Before oh, yeah. you can suddenly... I mean, if all your life... You never believed in stealing. That innate character will restrain you sufficiently yeah. to the point that you cannot steal the kind of money that we are talking about. Yes, people can go through character reformation, but I'm saying that if all your life and you grew up to be a man already in his mid 50s, your character, your real character, the real man inside the real, of you. Yes, the real man, that, that you. Hmm. Inside of you. Yes, will restrain you sufficiently that this kind of money that we are talking about, you cannot be found involved in stealing that kind of money. So, so hmm. it's, I, I just want to see a situation in which ultimately this trial is done and dusted, and then if the accountant general is found guilty, or whoever, let them serve their time in court. And no president, in, in, nobody. In, in jail. In jail. Serve their time in jail. And no president should come up with an idea of a pardon. Mm. If you come up with an idea of a pardon, then you are just as bad as this person that you are pardoning. Let's make examples of people who steal from every one of us. In short, let's begin to punish bad behavior. In yes, aberrant behavior. Let's punish aberrant behavior. Paul, you know, let's expand the logic. A billion naira is a million in a thousand places. And now here we are talking about 109 billion. 109 billion, not 109,000. Hmm. I mean, how these people can be so wicked to steal such an amount beats me. Hmm. They, 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 it, call it, it, they call it, it, it primitive acquisition. Honestly, it beats me. You have access to that kind of money, lots of money, and you steal. It means you are very, very wicked. You are an evil soul if you do that. But then, there is a long way between now and the time of conviction. Mm. If this man is guilty, then let, him be, let the case 
be proved. This is where I normally have problem. This is where I normally have problem. Proved because so, be sometimes beyond every be, be, iota of doubt. No, no, it's not even every iota of doubt. Mm. In criminal cases, it's beyond every reasonable doubt. It's not beyond every shadow of doubt. Mm. You must, there's a difference between, when, when you are dealing with a criminal case, the, the principle is beyond every reasonable doubt. doubt. Now, you don't do a shoddy prosecution. Mm. For, if, for, for example, if this case fails on technical grounds, then we will say EFCC was never serious ab initio. Mm. Because we see people going to court for to, people to that... Tackle, to eh, tackle things like this. To tackle this. things. I can tell you, of course, this man has a parade of lawyers. See, <laughs> see the advocates of Nigeria defending people like this. And then those... Uh, but the, 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 the law empowers Ex uh, any, uh, any absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But then... The judge must be courageous and EFCC must prove his case. Another thing is, I want to I also want to encourage lawyers are very smart at they are, they are, start, they are, they are very good at using delay tactics. Mm. You understand? They can first argue jurisdiction. You know, they fight plenary objection. This court does not have it does not have the, the power to entertain this case. The court, the, the judge has to rule on that. At some but, point, even when a lawyer knows that he doesn't, he's not going to get it's not mm. he doesn't have a case, he will say, nah, my lord, you need to recuse yourself from this matter because. Your language, your body language shows you cannot get justice in this court. You know, all sort of <laughs> things that lawyers do. So the judge himself must be courageous. He must not allow frivolous applications to fly. And the EFCC must actually do its, do its job. Uh, GD, you, you know, we live in a country where you think there are two major ways of being happy. One is reducing, Im improving our reality. And two, reducing our expectations. Which one do you want me to reduce? <laughs> Either. <laughs> you know, our expectations because are... Because I'm already <laughs> reducing my expectations about how, how uh, money to spend in Nigeria. Mm. Things are sky high. I entered the market today just to have an idea of how bad things are. Mm. Yeah, you got it first hand. Of, of, of how terrible things have become for the ordinary man. I got into the, into the, into the market went to people selling meat, went to even the woman selling pomo and all that, mm. you know. One, uh, were, were you shocked? Uh, more than shocked. <laughs> our, our wives are trying because if as bad as things are, they still find a way. Mm. That's financial engineering on their part. Too. Yeah. They still find a way to... Or making to, things happen. Yes, just out of what the little that... You, 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 you give to them. So, our expectations are high about this matter. And I want to see somebody punished. For once. Let's not imagine that because somebody is big, then you have to find a way mm. or do the usual, um, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Nole Proseki. Uh, uh, in, yeah. in, in, in exchange for... <laughs> For some money. I don't want to see that. Yeah. We've seen the Attorney General's office is empowered. The Attorney General is empowered to discontinue any criminal matter. At any point. Yes. Mm. He's the only person that the president cannot delegate his work. But the, that power has to be used responsibly. That's if we it. say we want to defeat corruption, there are some things that the Attorney General should not do. Mm. All this cheap plea bargaining, non le prosecui, just appearing in court and telling, just tell, telling the judge that, look, we have well, decided we not, to... We are no longer interested. We are, uh, yes, we are not, uh, that they are going to refund some money. You know it happened in the case of the former custom, um, uh, Controller General of Customs. Yeah. They just yeah. got to the court and the Attorney General said, look, we are discontinuing this matter. Even the FCC guys were shocked. Did it, but do you know there is one thing, at the end of the, of the day, we are talking about deterrence. That's, the, that's where I'm headed. Mm. If this kind of person, if the EFCC comes up with a watertight case and he still doesn't end up in jail, do you, in all honesty, think that the cost of deterrence has been served, if that should happen. You know, I will increase my level of expectation at this point. 
Let's, 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 let's just do, do it well let and ensure that story. the person who is guilty ends up where those who are guilty should be. That Me, must, I still ask my... the question, how much do you need in a 70-year lifespan? That's assuming that that person thinks that he will only be around for 70 years. <laughs> you know? You, okay. need, you, are, you are helping people to moderate their expectations. And you are the one talking about expectations. No, no vex, Many please. people think they will get to 90. Many people think they have two lifetimes. They don't think. Okay. All right. Whatever happens, whatever Jide or uh, Dada thinks, the sun will rise from the east tomorrow, Jide. I know about that.